All right, hello, Battle Right fans, and welcome to some streaming of Battle Right, the new Battlegrounds mode. If the game would actually co okay. All right, hello, Battle Right fans, and welcome to some streaming. Game would actually question. Okay. All right, hello, Battle Right fans, and welcome to some streaming. Game would actually question. Okay. All right. I had some issues earlier with game audio, hence why everything just got really weird all of a sudden. But they appear to be all good, and I have... Uh, this is not a bad setup. I'm No, I don't want to go with the setup that involves me getting... Lunar Strike. And Weaken. And this. There we go, that's what I want. Super powerful charge strikes and all the charge strikes I could ever want. Boom. I'm ready. Oh yeah, because I get multiple lunar strikes. This I find is a pretty good setup for Sirius, although to be fair, I am not a Sirius main. I'm a Jade main and a Paloma sub. So this is still a little unfamiliar to me, to be honest, and how to play Sirius. I've been messing around with Sirius and Battlegrounds a few matches, but not all that much. If my play seems weird to you, that's why. Also, Battlegrounds is just a d odd and different mode that it seems people are still kind of getting used to. Hey, get weakened. Get petrified. Give me my charge back. Get weakened again. How do you like them apples? All right, well, that worked really well. Good show, everyone. And healing. And now let's go kill somebody else. Actually, no, let's not go kill somebody else. Let's go kill minions. You guys, I don't know what you're doing, but we have objectives to beat. Because for those of you not familiar, the way this mode works is that every time you get one of these events, you need to do as much as you can to get this event. So in this case, we want to kill as many of these minions as possible. When that's done, you basically get a, that percentage filled up at the top. For every minion killed, I get 10 per, we get as a team 10%, and whoever gets to 100% first gets to attack, and the attackers are the ones who get to win because then they can destroy their opponent's big guardian structure and that... Oops, that's not gonna work. Well, so much for that. We got... We did not get the last minion? We might have gotten the last minion. Yes, we got the last minion! Okay! So, that'll work alright. Ah, no! Ah. Darn it. Okay, well, this is not a good position to be in, for obvious reasons. Petrify everyone! Get the... Ah, get out of here! Oh, crap. That's our Ashka that died. Well, I'll be back in a sec. Recalling does bring back a bunch of your max HP, because that opening area in the beginning gives you a bunch of max HP, which is very useful to have. For obvious reasons. Okay. So, the thing about this mode as well is that there is a leveling system, because of course there's a leveling system. It's mostly just a matter of increasing damage to increase lethality over time. But it does work to that end quite well. And that's the thing, is that it's actually really good at making things more lethal over time, so it's really hard to get much in after, once, after people get to about level 10 or so. Even before then it can be really tricky. But after especially. So, it's good to be careful. At this point, you know, single digit levels is no big deal. There's the loot! Need the, that's the another thing you need to do is get loot in order to get a bunch of damage dealt in. Oh! Thank you for the counter! Really handy there! Ow. Oh. The thing is, is that, of course, if I get Lunar Strikes, I do get my cooldowns or not to cool my charge refreshed. And I also get to get, you know, nice kills like that because of the charge. Oh, great. I'm dead. Oh! Ah! Seriously? So close to Prismatic striking my way out of there. Oh, shoot. And that's in the attack, too. And I just lost my sword. Okay, I still have my ult available. Almost. Of course, I had to lose that, too, in the process of dying because I was trying to Prismatic strike my way to, to safety and that didn't work, so... How about that? Yeah, because like I said, the whole goal is to go in here and do all the damage possible to this thing. 
The more damage done to this thing, the better. But doing that damage is really hard because obviously your opponents are trying to stop you and you only have a short amount of time to actually do that damage. However, at this point we have 60% already after getting that kill because we got loads off the champions so we're actually doing quite well. At this point, the question is just getting to the minions and making sure we get that all set up because that is the next quest or next event is kill all the minions. And we lost Arashka. I'll be back in a few seconds. Looks like the Ra the Rukon's over in the northeast. I really like this mini-map, by the way. So the Rukon over in the northeast. I'm over here. Helping get rid of these things. I mean, I can only get rid of them so fast. It's actually a bit of a pain. Yeah! Petrify! You! I don't... Wait, what am I doing? Melt! Melt everyone! Alright, cool. We got three. Oh, darn it. And they got a bunch, too. Wait, what we got? Oh, that Rygon took the last one. Jerk. Okay, well, I still got fully charged, and we could probably defend fairly well. I find Sirius on defense is pretty good. Sirius on offense, they're all right, especially once they get enough levels that the that the Astral Beam does ridiculous damage, which does happen, but definitely on defense. You just petrify them, you get ridiculous damage. Oh, that might not be the best time to use the ultimate. Well, to be fair, I kind of need to get my ultimate up, too. Ah! Okay, there's going to be someone by our guardian, for sure. There's... There's the jade. Oh, darn it. Okay, just heal up the guardian. I can heal the guardian, which is actually really convenient. Oh, right, that only blocks one. I should have just eaten all that. Ah, darn it. Get petrified. What the heck? Uh, well, at any rate, we managed to defend more than they managed to defend on our attack, so that's really all you need to do. As long as you maintain yourself better than they did them, then you're good. Oh crap, you're dying. You're not so dying. Better. I'm glad to see it. Uh, of course, I'm the only one with the shield because I was the only one near the near the guy guarding them, but that happens. And that's not good, but that's fine. I'll be... People are going to hit me on the counter anyway, because people are very keen on hitting counters. I've noticed in this mode. People who play Battlegrounds often hit counters. Can't be hard not to, honestly. Huh? Ah. Just need to petrify you, and I don't manage to do so. Need to get out of here, get to the control zone. Hey! Get rid of the Rygon. Good plan. Good work, everyone. And now, stop. Melt. Ah, shoot. Did you have to? Really? Because we need to get that control point. That, that's kind of the goal here. Can I get a banana? I can get a banana. I don't need to use that banana. That was a bad banana. I could have done better. Ah, shoot. Well, at any rate, we've got... Seriously? Die! Thank you! Good dying. And it's my death. Not so good. How many... Okay, we got 155. Did we manage to get the orb? Not the orb. The I keep calling it the orb. It's not orb. This isn't arena mode. Orb is not the question. The question is whether or not we got the control point, and we more or less got the control point. Of course, now we're fighting two one because this is the one thing about battlegrounds I notice a lot of is salt. Really, really, almost inexplicable levels of salt. I mean, I get it. It's it can be tough, but. Like, why are people not playing? Come on. We're doing fine. We're winning. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, they must have been AFK. Ah! Well, at any rate, I'm... Now I'm in a bad spot right now. Great. Well, so much for that. Oh! <sighs> Darn it. Well, that's just perfect. I just had to be completely not... I guess that makes sense why they weren't acting, because, of course, it's hard to get into the Guardian if everyone's dead. Which, now everyone's dead. So, so much for that. Okay, well, that was a bit of a waste. Thankfully, we're still ahead on the whole Guardian shield thing. We've been doing fine on the objectives. 
It's just a matter of making sure that we actually have everything else set up. I guess also it's threes. It's a lot easier to hit counters and or to have counters hit in threes than in twos. Hey, you're getting better at not hitting counters. Congratulations. I don't really care because I can still use that to get my charge back. And then use that to get out of there. Although, damn it, they're... Where is my team? Oh, one of them's up north. Okay, that, that makes sense. I'm basically slowing down the capture of all these things. Ah, okay, good. Got the last hit on that one. That's what counts. The fact that we got that minion and these ones are just completely being wrecked by our Rukon. That is what counts. We get another attack. Perfect on the event. It's all good. And level 10 all around, except for that Jade is level 17. Holy crap. Might want to pick up some of these bonus levels to at least try to equalize things. This is a huge part of the game to some extent. Well, getting the bonus levels is pretty big. When you consider that it's hard to get levels, and levels are really important for extra damage. Grabbing these bonus level spheres is a very useful way of maintaining power over time. As that Jade very clearly knows. And it looks like we are going to attack. Alright, where's my... where's my people? Ah, there's my people. Yeah! Yes! I managed to get loads of damage in there. Ow. Okay, good. And more major damage. Ow. Didn't get a charge shot in there. Oh. Thanks, Guardian. Saved my life. Like, seriously. Saved my life. That was actually absolutely necessary to stay alive. Because the way that's working is that I am able to run away and get my Celestial Split on cooldown and get more bonus levels and then go back to base and heal up because I need that and I've got 10 seconds before the next event I got barely enough time to get my full HP but it's enough ah crap except for their their Jade is on a killing spree this does not surprise me all right, let's get you, everyone, but your Rygon, at least. I can get rid of them. Ow! Ugh, shoot, I can't get rid of them. Where's the rest of our team? Okay, clearly not understanding the way that objectives work in this game. And, of course, they have to get everything. Okay, well, so much for that. Again, defense, which we're handling far better than they are, because, as you can see, they're not doing especially well. Why for... Ugh, what is with people? Uh, that's... Okay, for anyone watching, I actually have my own window in stream chat above the game chat. As those of you who are able to watch the game chat right now can see, that is for good reason. Because despite the fact that we're winning, apparently our team has decided to be complete jerks to each other. We are winning. We are winning by a wide margin. I have no idea why everyone just left. Why we have a disconnect. Why people are wanting to forfeit. We are winning. Give us some freaking effort and we'll win. Like, even this attack isn't going to be all that bad. Seven seconds? They're not dealing anywhere near enough damage to make that a threat. I mean, the Rygon's about to go down. Once I... No, almost about to go down, but it doesn't matter. Like, there's really not much we can do wrong. Okay, so they got one extra attack. Damn it. I am not happy with this. Not happy with this attitude. That's something, I, I guess it's something I noticed in casual as well. It's like, there's no rating associated with this. And look at the scoreboard. We are winning. I fail to see the problem. But I guess some people just don't see things that way, which I find bizarre. <sighs> anyway. Ah, crap. Turn it, Rygon. Okay, good. We got three... Be nice if you helped out there, Rygon, who's probably decent. No, they're still disconnected because they're jerks. Thanks a friggin' lot. Could have easily had that if you were an asshole. You weren't being a petulant child and deciding that because we missed one objective in a game that's not even ranked, 
that's really kind of a silly game mode that's just sort of a little fun, that somehow that means that we're losing and you should leave. Because, yeah, that's that's a self-fulfilling prophecy right there. Darn it. Sheesh, I'm getting a hard time maintaining damage. Where is my team? Oh, good. They're in the control point. That is the good place for them to be. I mean, unfortunately, it's 2v3 because we have Jerk on team. Ready. Uh, situation I don't understand. Like, I seriously do not understand the logic of this thinking. Oh, darn it. Well, we got an attack going. Like, we're going to win after this. One more attack and we win. And we've got an attack first. Like, I mean, granted, I just used my ult, so that was probably not ideal. But yeah, we are just about to win. I fail to understand this person's problem. Whatever. Like I said, I don't get... I do not get salt in casual game modes. Like, this, okay, I can kind of see because it's a bit of a longer game mode. You might get a little bit frustrated because it is obviously a longer game mode, and so it becomes a little bit harder to stay in, especially when you do have an, an opponent who is level 25, which does mean a lot of damage and hasn't died in for friggin' ever. And that keeps killing our guys and making it very difficult for us to actually get any attacks in. Oh, crap. They really are making difficult attacks in. Damn it. Wow. I mean, I hope they're waiting for me, but... I don't know. We're winning events. We're doing damage. If we manage to get one more attack and we're actually going to win... I'm just frustrated that there's people that are such poor sports. Like, that's... That is really pissing me off. That someone's that poor of a sport. That they're just going to ruin it for the rest of us. Because... I don't even know why. Because we were winning? Because there's a Jade on their team that has loads and loads and loads of HP? Like... Or not HP. Sorry. Loads of levels, which of course means that they're hard to kill. Or not... Sorry. Not hard to kill as much as they're just going to kill us first pretty easily. Yeah, okay. So they're doing a lot of damage. So what? I just don't get that. Ah. Well... That's time to make them stone. Ah. Oh, darn it. That's what I want. Well, thanks a lot, Rukon. Okay, that, I'm disabling chat. Or at least I'm muting this person. I like to keep my streams relatively clean. That is not accomplishing that goal. Like, I do not understand that logic. I really don't understand that logic. It makes zero sense to me to be that much of a brat. Let's try Pearl in that mode. Like, I've been... Messing around in Battlegrounds is not a bad mode. It's just partly it's still new. And there's not there's no tutorial for it, so it makes I understand fully why it's difficult for people to get into. And it is a different kind of game. It's not the kind of game we're gonna be playing a few set like I don't know, half a dozen sessions in an hour. It's not that kind of game. And it's also not the kind of game that has a super clear focus. I mean, it's not Dota, or exactly a Dota-like, but it does share, to some extent, the, the scale of the goal. Because in both cases, you're dealing with a game mode that has a large-scale goal, like a long-term goal, or medium-term within the you know, half-hour or so scope, or half-hour to an hour. In Battlegrounds, in this case, 10-15 minutes. 
that is not directly connected with any single action you do, but every action you do that has a minor effect helps. So killing enemies helps. Getting objectives helps. In the case of Dota, of course, killing creeps and towers and such helps. It's a lot of minor objectives that help you achieve the major objective, but are not themselves necessarily the priority in the quest. Actually, turrets are priority, but say all the boss enemies that are in Dota, for instance, or all the objectives here. Like, they help achieve the, the objective, and some are more useful than others. Usually, killing the opponent players is actually the least useful thing to do. It's only really useful in that it helps you to have local 3v2s or 3v1s. So you're able to handle different situations, objectives in particular, far more efficiently. Since they're not there, you are, they're, they're nowhere near there, you can take the objective without them interfering. That's super important. So, yeah, killing players has a use. It is not, however, the most useful thing. Which seems to be something that a lot of people have a hard time understanding because it's, it is really a matter of, a matter of objectives. Although, as we saw there, one person with a bunch of levels does end up getting a lot of power. All right, let's see what we want to put here. So, tidal wave counter st or tidal wave staff recharge, of course. I want to do that. Hmm. Bubble barrier recast for sure. Dive. Eh. Let's see. Splash damage or... Splash damage. People tend to be together. People tend to group up in this game. So, yeah. That's probably okay. I haven't played Pearl much in the new patch. I haven't played Pearl much prior, actually. I didn't really play her for a few months. So, probably Pearl mains are going to get mad at me for the way I'm building Pearl right now. But it seems reasonably sensible, at least the way that this mode tends to work. Yeah, I did get the Tidal Wave Recharge. Perfect! Okay. Ah. More charges! Unstable bubble! More charges! Wait, not more charges. There are oh! Shoot! Oh, shoot! I... I did mess up my build. I totally messed up my build. I should have switched out Ocean Sage, or actually kept Ocean Sage, switched out Fountain for the right that lets you get more charges, or get more dives whenever you dive into a bubble. That was a missed trick. Hopefully it won't ma be a major problem, but I totally missed that trick, and I feel like a bit of a fool for that, because yeah, obviously, you know, I want to heal my teammates using, like, both at the same time with the healing wave, or the fountain right to get the healing wave bounce, but man, I missed a trick there. Okay, there's the event. It's going to be down here. Yeah, oh, didn't even get the jade. Yeah, heal up! Alright, where's... Silence jade! Oh, come on. Well, we have minions to defeat. You guys! Bam! 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 That's one down. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, well, they got one. There's at least one more over here. There we go. Ow! Darn it, they got that one, too. Wait, did we lose? We lost everyone. We just lost everyone. Bam! Got one! Thank you. Now go and stop getting in my way. Ow! Shoot. Okay, I should have recast the bubble bearer. That would have been enough. But hey, that gave our rook some time. Managed to get another one. 60-20 so far. Not a bad setup. Ah, 60-30. Never mind. 70-30. Well, good. We got the advantage. That's what counts. Yeah, this is why I'm thinking it was kind of foolish to go for fountain, because why would you go for fountain? Like, what difference does it... Shoot. Like, what difference does it make? There's not a whole lot I can see as being all that relevant here, because, well, it's not exactly a right that provides all that many useful tools. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I don't know why I thought 
I forgot that I can't do it that way. Can't use the counter to deal with the ultimate. That is not an option. Wait, fountain? Is that even working? I guess it is working. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. So the thing with this one is, of course, we actually do want to kill the enemies because we want to get them... We want to get the enemies out of the way before all the loot pops out. Like that. Yeah, there you are. Get stunned. Darn it. Darn it! Okay, good consume. How's our loot going? Our loot's going well. We actually got most of it. 80-20! Okay, good. We're still in a really good spot. Although I am playing Pearl, so my guardian damage is a bit limited. Also, they killed most of my team. So I'm just going to hang back and see if I can find any sword drops. Because that's the thing I need right now. There's a sword drop. I think it is, yeah, north and south. Yeah, there they are. Okay, cool. So we have sword drops. I have ultimate. I believe we are prepared. And there's no sword drop there. Okay, well, let's just try to get get rid of some of them. Yeah. Bah. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. What I really want to do is keep the rest of my team alive. That's probably more important for me right now. Oh, what, that was in? I can't believe that was in the dive. Or not the dive, the jaws. Oh, darn it. Well, so much for that. I almost got the rook. Eh, we got some damage in. We got it down to the first guard tick. Which is still good. Ah! Crap! Get me out of here! Nope, that's not gonna work. Hence why I really should have gone for the dive... The dive reset on the bubble barrier. That was a mistake. Still, though, damage was dealt, so we're ahead. We are winning... And we should have a lock on this event. I'm pretty sure, at least. There we go. Ah! Justification for the silence splash! Alright, let's go to the top. Oh, wait. That was... Even split. Alright, that makes sense. It would happen. And, of course, he would do that, too, but that's fine. What? I countered that. Oh, whatever. We're getting some kills. The important thing is that we... Oh, no. We're we're screwed. Actually, that rook's doing okay. Because the important thing is more that I don't die in the meantime. Thank you. There we go. I just want to get this. Ugh. Darn it! This has been a perfect time to use Jaws myself. Well, they seem to... The Rukon's ahead, but... Damn, we are not doing well here. Yeah, they're... I think they got that first. I'm not sure. They definitely have the better buffer, but I don't know who's attacking first. Nope, we're being attacked first. Actually, that's good, because that will let us have the swords and such. Because we're nowhere near losing. So we can get their swords, get a bunch of levels. So we're going to hit them with more, potentially more power than they hit us. Also, that. Oh, darn it. Darn it! I missed the timing. Well, I got the kill at least. Did I get the jade kill as well? No, I wouldn't have gotten the jade kill. But I got some damage dealt. And I can give it a bubble shield. Oh, wait, we have... We have no worries! They're nowhere near us! Yes! <laughs> okay, that worked! Gamble paid off. All right, cool. Well, mostly paid off. At any rate, we're in a good position to kill them before we go on our attack. Oh, and it's gonna be nowhere near, never mind. Well, at the very least, we can get their swords. That was more what I meant. We can get their swords, use that to get, obviously, the extra attack power that comes with the swords. 
and then use that to just have an even easier time dealing with their Guardian. So I feel like getting defense is actually way easier than offense. A weird statement on it. Well, like, it's not that weird because it's a smaller space and obviously you just have to keep them from being. Okay, well, that's not great. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. All right. Bing. Okay, that saved me a bit in a way. Not what I wanted, but it works nonetheless. Darn it. Well, that hits the Guardian for a bit more. We're doing some damage. Yay. Although they have way more buffer. And it's proven to be very difficult to actually get that damage to stick. But, eep. If we get a full event going our way, we should be fine. But, kind of getting low on swords. Like that Jade. Again, Jade is very strong in this mode. I'm not playing her mostly because I figured to be a good mode to experiment with champions. I don't play much. Rather than, you know, play my main. Oh, darn it. Yeah. Although if we can kill her, it's going to be a really good spot. Darn it. I'm supposed to be shielded. Okay, well, the important thing is to kill these, these guys. Ah, good. Can we kill her, please? Like, I almost don't care about the minions right now, just for getting rid of this jade. Ah, there we go! Okay. We still have minions we can kill, but... At the very least, removed all his bonus levels off the Jade. Equalized things a little bit. Darn it. Okay, good. We got the one. Aha! And I got another! Oh, they got another attack coming, but at least they're not going to have all the swords they had before. I mean, they clearly want those swords, but good luck getting them. Oh, shoot! That was really bad on my part. It's a classic pearl mistake that I can't believe I just made. Well, at any rate. Defense preparations are underway. And actually, to some extent, I just want to wait. Oh, never mind. We can deal with it that way. Nice! Ah, crap. Don't die. Don't die. All right, well, the Pearl might be a threat to our Guardian. I don't know. I feel like she will be. Or possibly is. Yes, she is, actually. That's nice. She's also... Oh, not quite dead yet. Ah! Well, that worked. That was really competent defense. And now we have advantage on buffer and advantage on, champ on Guardian HP. And we're getting advantage on levels as well. Pretty strongly, too. Nice. This is a turnaround. I love it. So, I don't feel that I'm particularly strong at dealing with the, with blocking them from getting their stuff over. So, I'm just going to let them do their thing. Ah, crap. Like, get the balloon here. Moves faster. I'm pretty sure it moves faster. Yeah, we have the rook dealing with moving it more slowly. Moving theirs more slowly. Not to mention, I have the ultimate up. Oh, and their balloon's barely moving at all. I think we got this. Well, we got that part, for sure. Yeah, 90-10. That is ideal. So, let's just prepare to attack. As it states. Oh, hey, our, our Rukon's on a killing spree. Cool. Where'd the jade go? Ah, there they are. They are dying. So 15 seconds left to attack. I am effectively level 20. Oh, wow. I'm in the position the jade was in before. And I could get stronger, too, because there's swords up here. Actually, no, let the recon take that. I don't like when the swords are two on one person. It's a very vulnerable situation. 
The more spread out they are, the better. Now, ah, there we go. Yeah. And then we got that. We got this. We totally have this. There we go. That's how you win battlegrounds. Intelligently take the events and be careful on defense. And then if someone has too many of these swords, focus them down and kill them. Because that is how you do it. Give me loads of bonus levels as a result, too. All of us loads of bonus levels. How much guardian damage? 484 on them, 294 on me, 263 on me. How many on their side? Yeah, hardly any. Oh, only 10 guardian protection. No, oh, well. Managed to get boatloads of protection overall, though. 124 guardian protection. But hey! 2,600 for the rest of my team. No, no, that's their team. Wrong side. I only got 1720, 1725. They, their pearl is doing really well. Mine, eh, is okay. Not great, but okay. So hey, we did the thing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's do let's do it as my actual main. Let's play the main. Why not? 